What is up, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of the Beginner's Guide to Ark here on the island, where I am going to be showing you how to tame your very first Rex. And why are we taming a Rex today? Well, Rexes are a pretty iconic dinosaur, and they are fantastic for farming meat. They are also fantastic boss dinos. And more immediately for us, we're actually going to need a breeding pair of Rexes to start our kibble farm which I have already started to make. We've got some dodos here, which will give us small or extra small eggs. The pterodons will give us small eggs. The baryonyx will give us medium eggs. The moss chops will give us large eggs. And we even went and tamed this beautiful beast, Cookie Monster, outside the other day on our live stream over on Twitch. And if we get a female, Euteranus, we've got a male here, then we can produce special eggs. But it does mean that we're missing large eggs. And what produces large eggs but Rexes? And I am at a stage where I would like to start making some kibble so I could tame my dinos faster and with better effectiveness. Uh, a huge thanks to everybody who did attend the live stream on Friday. We did tame some really crazy looking stuff. We do have the, the uh, Thanksgiving event on, which apparently gives us blue colors. I managed to kidnap this sheep, which I haven't tamed yet, but uh, I'll, I'll get around to doing eventually. We've got blue, we've got cookie monsters, lovely blue and red colours. And we even tamed a baryonyx. These creatures here, we tamed two, but this one I'm particularly proud of. Yellow and green looking with the red spines. It actually turned out to be pretty decent. And we're going to be using this creature down the line to do some caves. So if we are thinking about taming our first Rex, a few things that we're going to need before we set out. You can tame it without a trap if you're feeling brave, but I did go and make myself a simple walk-in trap. I have made 10 stone foundations, 21 stone walls, and I've got 10 wooden ramps. I've built myself a few extras in case I misplace something and something breaks or what have you. We're going to need to make the main structure of the trap out of stone so it doesn't take any damage from the wrecks. And once we get to our location, I'll show you how to set that up. We're going to also need our long neck rifle and our trank darts as well to knock this thing out. Uh, taming food for now. I mean, I could sacrifice my sheep for raw mutton, but also it's so beautiful and I don't want to do that. So I'm probably going to end up feeding it some prime meat, I think. That will cut it. And we're going to be heading over to Kano Island to tame a Rex. Uh, Kano Island is great for taming. Um, it has a little island to the southeast where nothing spawns. No carnivore spawn, nothing spawns. So it's a fairly safe place to actually set up a trap. So here we are just off the coast of Kano Island. And I can already see two Rexes in the distance here. Let me just check out their levels okay <laughs> level 10 and level 25 so not great levels but for a first tame and the fact that we're primarily going to be using them for egg laying i think taming one of those will work out just fine for us we need to set up our trap first i'm going to set it up here so that we're as close to the coast as possible in a flat-ish area so that we can easily lure the rex in drag my structures onto the hot bar and we're going to make a trap that is three by three stone foundations. I do usually bring a couple of extras here just in case I accidentally break one or place it wrong or something like that. There we go. Something like that. And then we're going to want to place our walls. I'm going to jump down now. We shouldn't be over encumbered anymore. No, we're good. So we're going to want to place three walls at the front of the trap and we're going to want to place them three high like so. Then we're going to leave a gap wall that's three high leave a gap and so forth repeat the pattern so we need it to be three high and no less otherwise the rex can walk out but the rex cannot fit fit through a gap that is only one tile across like that so it will be stuck in there just fine and we've got plenty of room and maneuverability to shoot it we'll need to place the ramp so that it can uh, walk into the trap so i've got nine pieces here which should do the trick a couple of spares again you might find that you need more than nine, depending on how flat of an area you've built on. But we're going to be just fine here. So that's the trap done. Now we've got to lure the Rexen. Hopefully it's not going to be uh, too much of a faff. You do find that the Rexes or bigger Carnos in general tend to get distracted by the smaller Carnos that are in the area. <laughs> uh, well, I guess, I mean, we'll try and go for the slightly higher level one. Is it the level... Who's that? Level 25? And you know what? This one's... We've picked this one off. We're going to go in. 
We're going in. So it's going to do that raw animation and it's going to come after us. Because it's a low level, we can withstand a couple of bites from it and it's not going to hurt us. And we actually want to keep it quite close, otherwise it's going to lose aggro and it's just going to be a pain to lure into the trap. If it is a high level, of course, you're going to want to watch out for the damage that you would take if you do get bitten. This one is doing 31 damage, which isn't very much at all. We want to line ourselves up with the trap here. Stay in nice close, nice and slow. And then hopefully it's going to wander on in. And there we go. We have trapped it. It's that straightforward. Don't worry about those damage numbers. The Rex can technically bite the... Um, the wooden part of the trap but it's in now so it should be fine do make sure that your bird is on passive or whatever you're using here so it doesn't try to jump in and attack and then we get our rifle out and we've just got to shoot it down i've got myself just under 100 trank darts and a primitive long neck rifle so it might tempt you a while to bring it down but that's okay we're going to be watching out for when the rex does its torpor run animation so when it stops biting the trap and at that point i'm going to want to slow my shooting down because if we put a shot into it after it's uh, been knocked out it will lose taming effectiveness which doesn't matter if it's a low level in this case but if you are looking for high level boss rexes you are going to want to make sure you get the maximum amount of taming effectiveness as possible and in fact because this is such a low level i wonder it's going to be fairly quick. There we go. There's the torpor run now. Shouldn't take too much longer. Hi, friend. How are you doing? There we go. <laughs> and we're going to sleep. Okay, so we need to go and grab ourselves some prime meat in order to feed the Rex, which should be quite straightforward because we have we have a lot of things that give us prime on Kano Island. We can go after another Rex if we so wish. We could go after an Argentavis, Kano. They would all give us prime meat here. I can see that other Rex in the distance. My goodness, that Argentavis is beautiful. I'm gonna, do you know what? I'm gonna try, try my best not to kill that because I'm gonna want to tame that later. Looks like, looks like a candy cane. He's beautiful. Yeah, let's help this pal out a little bit. Uh oh. Come on, Rex. There you go. Go down. You can do it, Argy. You can do it. Bring it down. Bring it down. Being really careful not to hit the RG here. No, it's gonna go. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Don't you dare take my prime meat. Okay, I got three prime meat. That isn't a lot, but it was a low level. So that's probably why. Oh boy, oh, oh. That looks like an alpha T-Rex. So you can't tame alphas, but and a 135, that is a very high level. You can kill them to get yourself and your dino a lot of XP and also a chance of getting some um, some cool tools and things which are of better quality than primitive. Alpha variants are larger and faster than their regular counterparts and they also have much more health, which is why they're much more difficult to bring down. So I will be leaving this one today because I'm not very well equipped to deal with it. But I think the best thing about uh, farming alphas when you come to do it is that if you equip yourself with a chibi, then you can kill alphas to gain chibi experience. And if you level up your chibi, then your character's maximum level cap increases by five levels. So when you're kind of mid to end game, they can be a really good source of chibi XP. But yeah, I'm going to leave this dude today. He's a little bit nasty. We're going to go back and uh, sort our tame out. Okay, I've got my prime meat. I should think we've left this Rex long enough now. If I put this meat straight into its inventory, <laughs> it's going to tame instantly because it's such a low level and we do have boosted taming rates on this uh, this playthrough. We're doing times 10. So here we go. We've got our very first Rex named TTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTTT
So Rex says, if, you, if you're if you not having much luck on Kano Island and you are looking for higher levels, there are a few other places you can look. Uh, specifically, mountain tops are going to be your best bet. Slightly more difficult to set up with traps, though, obviously, because they're not so flat. Uh, generally speaking, though, um, Rexes can spawn all over, pretty much, except the very kind of south beach areas. There's a little map here on the screen now that shows you exactly where they can spawn on the island. In fact... Looking down here, I can see one on the beach already. Let me see, level 20, okay. We're, we're after a high level, so I'm gonna leave that one for now. Okay, so I found this male here, only level 35, but we got pretty colors. So I'm gonna continue to look for a high level male. And if I can't find one, we'll settle for the pretty one. <laughs> I just gotta remember where I am. We are, okay, we're at about 40, 70. All right, folks. I'm at this middle mountain here. We've got a Rex. This is a female up here, I think. Yeah, female. I've just spotted two more in the tree. I think there's two more in the trees down here. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to get these. We need to. Let's have a look. What about you, my friend? Are you good? You're level five. The lowest possible of the levels. So we won't be going for you. How about you? Come on, give me a good level. Give me a good level. Oh, wow. Okay, um... Are you actually kidding me? It's a level, it's a level 150. That's the highest level we get on the server. Wait, are you, oh my God, you're a male as well. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, we absolutely 100% have to tame this. Please, please do not die whilst I go and make myself a trap. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to base. I'm gonna make myself another trap and then we're gonna hop back and hope that we can tame this one out. This will be such a fantastic tame because this is gonna be a potential boss fighting dino for down the line. So give me a sec. I'll go make the trap and then we'll be right back. Okay, I am armed with my trap. I'm just gonna find the goddamn Rex again. I think that's it, is that it? Yeah. Uh, we've got to find a place to put this trap where it's reasonably flat. I think we're going to have to move a little bit down here to do that. Should be all right. Let's pop. Yeah. Oh, we've got some visitors. Let's deal with those. <laughs> now, because it's such a high level, I'm not so worried about it kind of getting killed. Although, oh, goodness sake. No, don't follow me. That's Sabo. <laughs> The Saber's following me. And they're on oh no, the Rex has got bored. It's found a Apache over there. Oh, wow. You are a pretty Saber. I kind of feel bad killing you. I'm so sorry. It looks like a kind of little uh, tiger, doesn't it? Okay. Right. Yeah, everything in this area is going to want to kill me. So it's going to be significantly more dangerous and difficult to trap this thing. Oh, yeah. We've lost it already. Um, it's gone down the hill there. Right. Okay. Let me position it slightly differently then. Okay, where did it go? It's still down there. Let's pay to place our ramps and then we're good to go. It's going to be interesting to see the differences here between taming a really low level and then a max level. I I, I did equip myself with more Trank uh, darts as well. I've actually got 135 on me and I repaired my long neck so that it's at full durability. We've got the best possible chance of knocking it out. Where did you go? Okay. Let me see how much damage this is going to do compared to the last one. The last one was doing like 31 damage. Okay, it's getting um, 62, 48. That's not doing too much damage, but that also means potentially it's not got a fantastic melee stat. Um, yeah, the Dimorphs might be a bit of an issue. Uh, is they're quite hard for the Rex to grab. Oh, no, it's, it's managing. It's good. I don't want to jump in there and start attacking because I'm going to do the Rex damage and I don't really want to be doing that. Come on, Rexy, you can do it. You can bring it down. It's looking quite bloody. You know what? I might I might just help it a little bit. I can help it a little bit. Maybe. Oh no, I just hit the Rex in the heed. Oh god, it's got a friend. Oh <laughs> Come on, help him out. Help your friend out. There we go. Right, okay. Now the, the now we're gonna try and lure just the one we want into the trap. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a fun one. I mean to be honest, if we got both of them in, it's not it's really not the end of the world. Alright, come on then. Yeah, looks like we're we're going in for both. Oh no, it's got distracted by a a, a tiny blue dillo. Come on, friends. I'm here. I'm here. Really? He's really, really not interested in me. Come on, let's help him out a bit. 
There we go. Right, come on, my dudes. Follow me down the hill. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like everything else is tastier than me, goddammit. Oh, wow, we need to be careful with, with, with Stego. Stegos can uh, pull you off your mount if you're not careful. Right, here we go. I'm going to tank a little bit of damage here because it's taken a while to regain its attention. Look how far away from the trap we are. The Archie's doing it kind of okay. Kind of, it's not doing okay. Yeah, at this point, we've just got to be really careful. Just maintaining that distance. Yeah, always watch on your uh, your dino's health. I mean, usually usually when I'm doing this, I'll be on a pterodon, I'll be on an RG, I'll be on some kind of flyer, even a wyvern, if I'm on a map which has wyverns. But, I mean, you could use a land mount if you really wanted. Are you going to go in, my dudes? Are you going in? Are you going in? Are you going in? Oof! Yes, he's in. Okay, so now comes the, the actually the difficult bit, because we need to try and knock it out without getting... Um, ourselves into some kind of trouble here um i'm just gonna stock up on some meat for my rg a second um because it needs to heal a little bit before we do anything there we go there we go did we get anything yeah we got a little bit uh, just a little tip if your dino is running low on health and it is a carnivore you can heal it by holding down e over meat you get this little um, less than zero sign and you can see its health going up it is uh, a way to kind of force feed and force heal your dino there we go i'm just going to give it a little bit so it's at like half health there we go okay we've got a raptor we've got another rex i'm going to try shooting it from here I'll stay close to my rg just in case. Now this is going to take a lot longer to knock out than um, the other one. We may be here a while. I might need to get a little bit closer to it. So I need to see if it's bleeding or not. Um, oh yeah, we have a friend. Okay, yeah, I thought this might happen. We've got time to kill it. Just bear in mind if you leave it too long in between shots when you're trying to knock out dinos, then their torpidity will go back down again. We want to try and kill this thing as soon as possible. I'm going to pick it up. And uh, there we go, deal with it. Okay. My goodness, I can't see a thing. There we go. All right, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, I think we're running now. Yeah, there we go. Here's a tall pull run. You want to slow down in between each shot. I usually count three seconds or thereabouts because the tall pull still go goes up for a few seconds after your shot. And it means that we can just see exactly when it's going to fall down because it is really important with a with a high level, especially a max level, that we get all of those uh, extra levels that we possibly can. And obviously, if we hit it, once it's already knocked out, it loses taming effectiveness. Okay, how are we doing? Fill up. Go to sleep, my friend. You know you want to. Go to sleep so you can be my friend. Oh, he's trying to get out. <laughs> You're right there, bud. You're looking a little bit awkward. I, I swear you'll have a much better time if you just take, take, take a little nap for me, okay? Take a little sleep. Okay, so my shotgun is down... My shotgun? My rifle, sorry. My long neck rifle is down to half durability. And it's primitive. So you can indeed knock out a max 150 rex. With a primitive long neck, it just takes a little bit longer. Looks like we would have nearly gone through maybe about 70 darts. Yeah, there we go. And it's out. Okay, how's the area looking? I really don't want anything to come up and bite me when I'm close to the Rex in case it does the Rex damage. Let's have a look. Just at a glance, I'm looking at its stats. It's, it's melee looks not very good. Its health looks average. Um, but obviously we do get those uh, post-tame levels and points, so we'll have to wait and see uh, which stats those go into. It's totally up to RNG. Uh, yeah, we need more prime meat. Let let's go about and uh, grab some of that. There is an absolute abundance of it here as well. We go grab, it looks like an RG. Or a, nah, I won't do stego. Stegos can be uh, problematic. Yeah, let's go for an RG. Oh, that why are there so many goddamn beautiful RGs today? Need to stop getting sidetracked. I always oh it's a one four five. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm <laughs> I might have to come back and tame that one as well. It's I get so easily distracted when there are event colours. They're all just so beautiful. Okay, let me deal with this one though. 
Now, the higher level of dino you're taming, the more food it's going to take to tame up. So I'm probably going to want to make sure I have a little bit extra prime meat than I did with the lower level female we had earlier. It is also worth bearing in mind that if you're playing on official or playing single player with default settings, that taming a max level Rex with raw prime meat will take you about an hour and a half, which is why getting to make exceptional kibble, which is the Rex's preferred kibble, is really important because it means it's going to take that time down to 50 eight minutes so it's definitely worth bearing in mind today i am playing with boosted taming settings which means it is indeed possible for me to tame a rex and it gain the maximum amount of post levels possible which is what we call a perfect tame oh my goodness i didn't really mean to aggro this stego but it looks like we're doing it hopefully it's not going to pull me off my mount with its tail attack I think we're gonna be all right it looks uh, it looks a bit bloody but yeah we're gonna grab this prime meat and we are gonna take it on over to our rex and tame it out okay i put the prime i put the prime meat in i'm so wary that something's gonna come and bite my butt we should be good it's immediately in 50 percent of it so we're just gonna have to wait for a little bit longer i'm probably gonna wait from a distance just in case something does decide to bite me all right got one eat left and then it's gonna be tamed up we've been quite lucky we've not had anything come to bite us in the butt at the moment so that's good uh, if you want to build this trap uh, for other dinos as well, you can do. You can trap Uteranus and Therizino this way quite easily. And if you want to trap smaller dinos, you could probably get away with doing two high instead of three high. And you can use some um, some doorways and you can put doorways all of the way around. And that will also trap in smaller dinos whilst allowing you to still shoot through. But for the Rex and for the larger ones, you definitely uh, can get away with this uh, bigger gap here. They're not going to be able to get out of that. Come on, one more E and then you are ours. I'm excited to see uh, how good we are going to be with the melee and the health here because those are the two stats that we're looking for if we're going to be considering a Rex for a boss dino down the line. And it's good. As you can see, even with the prime meat, we've uh, only lost 0.1% effectiveness, which is um, really about as good as it gets. Uh, the only difference really that Kibble is going to make in this particular taming uh, scenario is that it's going to make the, the process a lot quicker. It would take far fewer feeds for it to be tamed out. And here we go! We've got our Rex! Awesome. Level 224, which is as good as it gets when you are taming that is fantastic let me have a little sneak peek see uh, what the stats came out at in the end let's have a look 7260 health kind of average melee 313 percent also kind of average but you know what i will take average over bad <laughs> i'm really really pleased with this find today it, it is quite rare that you find a max level dino of any species on the island so this is a really really good find um oh, wow i've done that twice today oh my goodness <laughs> okay let's cry put this rex up and let's head back to base so let's take a little look at our rexes here we've got our max level perfectly tamed 224 male here and then we've got our female who is probably gonna be doing nap nap time with some cryo sickness let's have a look yeah there we go t t t t t she's gone to sleep <laughs> that's okay she's gonna be awake before long if anybody has some names for these then please do pop them in the comments on the video and i'll pick out the best ones for next video if you want to make a saddle for your rex which of course you do then you're going to want to go to your smithy and make sure that you have the engram that you can learn at level 74 40 engram points pretty pricey and then inside your smithy, you can make your saddle. We need metal ingot, hide, and fiber for that. Let's go and take our brand new Rex out for a test drive here and see exactly what damage it's going to do and what we can farm with it. There we go. All right. Let's take you out for a spin. On you go. Oh my goodness. Okay, so right click and we do a big fancy roar which doesn't really do much it's just aesthetically pleasing and uh of course this is the regular attack here now i've gone and done something really silly folks i've not built uh, an exit for our rex he can't fit through a regular gate look his hips are too big <laughs> okay what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pop him in a cryopod and then we're gonna release him on the other side all right okay cryo sickness is finished now so 
it looks like what we're going to need is eventually we're going to need to put in some behemoth gates which are going to allow through our rexes because they're just that little bit larger so behemoth gates uh you do have to still make in your inventory and they're pretty heavy uh but you learn them at level 31 behemoth dinosaur gateway um yeah costs a lot of resources though but that's okay poor uh poor planning on my part there for the base um but we're here we're outside it's all good let's go and take it for a test drive go and nibble this bear here Nom nom nom, 194 damage. This is without leveling or imprinting or anything like that. This is really good. And we get, well, from the bear, we get the added pelt, but we're getting hide, we're getting meat. So now, really, at the moment, this is going to be my um, my meat and hide farmer, at least until I can get something that's a little bit more suitable uh, for, for hide farming down the line. Absolutely fantastic. And we should get a little bit of prime meat from this Diplo as well. Thoropod vertebra, hide, raw meat, and prime meat. Absolutely amazing. There we go. Look at that. I'm going to feel a lot more confident uh, stomping around the redwoods now. So, folks, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And if you want to catch me in the meantime, you can see me over on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 2 p.m. GMT. And, folks, that is all for today. I'll see you next time. Over and out.